president that people running for president would file their tax returns, let everybody look at them. But Mitt Romney can't do that because he's basically paid no taxes in the prior 12 years. Really? Immediately the question started, how could Senator Reid know this? An anonymous source, he said. Then the fact check che checkers jumped in. The Washington Post gave the claim for Pinocchio, saying the tax experts had labeled that claim highly improbable. But it didn't matter. The accusation was already out there from the Senate leader, a man in an immense position of trust. It became a talking point for Democrats and liberal columnists, and the damage was done. Fast forward to today. Mr. Reid recently announced he's retiring. And he was in the middle of a looking back interview this morning. Sort of a moment of honesty apparently overcame the man. When he was speaking with another cable, cable network and he was asked about his infamous tax claim. So no regrets about Mitt Romney, about the Koch brothers. Because some people have even call, called it McCarthyite. Well, they call it whatever they want. Um, Romney didn't win, did he? Romney didn't win, did he? That's his response? The Senate now minority leader is saying it doesn't matter that he lied to the country repeatedly and the stakes were a presidential election. All that matters is that Romney lost. Think about that. And the response from our other elected officials, which has been crickets. Mm -hmm. After one of our top elected leaders shares with us his complete lack of integrity, complete lack of honesty, never mind respect for the American people. And none of his peers so far has seen fit to be at least a little bit ashamed. What does this say about Washington, about America, about our politics these days? Joining me now, Dana Lash, author of Hands Off My Gun and host of Dana on the Blaze TV. It's disgusting. It's just, it's just disgusting. He, He's not even ashamed that he lied. He's proud of it. Because in his world, apparently, the ends justify the means. Oh, Megan, you're, at, you're absolutely right on this. And th there's a reason why American politics are so polarizing. There's a reason why. And this, is, this has changed in the past 15 or 20 years, why you have people on the right and the left who can't even get along or agree on simple truths because of people like Harry Reid. He is one of the most insufferable people in the history of the con congressional body. And it's because of things like this. What the, the, the ends justify the means here. He should be censured. And I would love to see some actual leadership in the Democrat Party to step up and say, you were wrong with this. You, you defamed someone baselessly because you wanted to win a competition. It's all come down, Megan. It, it, it's all come down to winning a competition, winning a race. People don't care about being accurate anymore. They don't care about being truthful. They just want to win an argument. And that's shameful. It's an interesting point. You see, you, you've, we've seen in, the, in recent years Congress investigating these pro athletes who, you know, took steroids or did drugs to improve their game illegally. And yet, here we have, the, the, at the time, the Senate Majority Leader breaking the rules, resorting to dishonesty to win. That's the lesson he's teaching the children of America today. All that matters is that you win. And if you have to lie to the people who put you in office and lie to anybody watching television, so be it. No, absolutely. And, and, and that's, that's not only the example that he's setting for his own grandchildren, but that's the example that he's setting for the rest of the party. And in, until he steps out, until he's done with his seat, he is going to be celebrated and everyone is going to speak of him so fondly. He is leaving behind a record of destruction in the Senate. I mean, he sabotages the amendment process. He smears people baselessly. And Mitt Romney wasn't the only one. He called the Koch brothers un-American simply because the Koch brothers do something no differently, Megan, than any other donor in the Democrat Party, but he's targeting them specifically because they tend to fall on the right side of things. Enough is enough, and he needs to be censured for this. But I'm, I, honestly, I'm not going to be surprised if that never happens because there are no ethics. There is no morality. You have a party, as I said, that just wants to win. They don't care who they throw under the bus. They don't care about the truthfulness of it. They don't care about the morality. The reason that we are in the situation that we are in, in politics, in the United States of America, is because of people like Harry Reid and people with more zeal than ethics. I don't